So I'm pretty sure we've all used emojis at some point in our life, either sending it via a text message, sending it on WhatsApp, using it in Twitter, Facebook, and even on LinkedIn. You can also take these emojis and you can put them into Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement or CRM and you can use those to help the end users uh, get a quick visual of what something means or even just for a little bit of fun. So let's take a look in an environment and if I go to an account record we can see here that this is the AdventureWorks account and they're currently not on credit hold. However what we can do is add emojis into this specific uh, field and on yes if I change it there we can see we've got two red exclamation marks. So immediately if I'm looking at this record, it stands out. I know that they're on credit hold. That might mean I can't open any cases for them. We need to chase up um, for payment, whatever that might be. So very, very quick and easy to identify that this company's on credit hold just by adding some exclamation marks. So let's go ahead and look at actually setting up a field and using emojis and you can see how to do it yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the lead entity and we're looking at uh, a custom form um, just for the purpose of this demonstration so you can see. And you've got the standard rating that exists for hot, warm, cold. Let's go ahead and create a new field that we're going to use and we use emojis or images instead. So I'm going to go into uh, the solution and I'm going to go ahead and create a new field. And go ahead and put in the name so this will be just for the purpose of this we'll call this emoji rating and we're going to make this an option set now obviously if this is something that you're going to be using to map across to contacts or other records go ahead and make this a global option set again for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to just go ahead and use an option set against the lead so I want to have the same hot um, warm and cold and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add my three items in there. So if I go back to this website that we're seeing here, this is getemoji.com and I know that I need something for hot, something for warm and something for cold. So if I go ahead and look for cold first of all and just type in, I can search and what we've got is a snowflake. So that's perfect that identifies that it's cold. So I can literally just click here and click on copy. That is copying that emoji to my clipboard. That's all I've needed to do. If I then now go back into my option set, we'll make this the last one. And I'm literally going to do um, control V on my keyboard and I've pasted that emoji in there. So if I then click out of there, you can see in the option set, we've got the snowflake. So I'm going to go back and this time we'll go ahead and look for, um, we'll go for, for the sun, for warm. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, go back to my option set, paste it in. And then finally, we'll go for hot and we'll go for the fire, which is probably the hottest thing we're going to have. Although actually you could say the sun is maybe hotter, but that's fine. We're just saying it's a warm sun and it's a hot fire. So we can see there we've now got our option set. So we've created that and we'll go ahead and save and close. And we'll go back to um, our solution and we'll go to forms and I've got my emoji form here. So now what I'm going to do is instead of having the standard rating on the header, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that. And instead, I'm going to look for my new field for the emoji rating, drag it over, save it, and then we'll go ahead and publish it. So it's pretty straightforward. It's literally just a copy and paste. So we'll go back into our instance. So we'll go ahead and refresh that and we should see that we've got the new field on the header of the form. And now I've got those options available and I can select hot, warm or cold. So we'll say that this is hot. And again, that's an immediate um, recognition. I can see that. I know that this is a hot lead and this is one that I can follow up on. 
So as you can see, very straightforward to start and create a new uh, option set using an emoji. OK, so now let's look at the contact record. So we can see there in the middle we've got activity history right above the timeline and we can see the last contact method and the last contact date. So if we go ahead and we'll look at the last contact method field, which is a new field that I created, again doing an option set. And this one I made as a global option set, so it could be used in other places. If I go ahead and click to edit that, we can see we've got a phone call, we have an email, a meeting, a letter, or SMS, a text message. So if we go back to here, so what I've done is this is using a workflow now that is also taking advantage of the uh, of the emoji option set and being able to say if we create and complete let's say a phone call so if I say follow-up call and great call great feedback whatever it might be and we'll go ahead and we'll complete that close the activity and now if I just go ahead and refresh this, depending on how long it's taken, there we go, perfect. So we have a workflow that has run that said, OK, well, we've just completed a phone call. So that's the last contact method and the date when that has occurred. So again, we can use that emoji for immediate recognition. I can see, OK, so it was a phone call on this date. So yes, you could use the words. It's not saying that you um, are going to get anything better by using the emojis. It's just to give you an idea, another example of where you can use it for that immediate recognition to, to see see what's been going on. Okay, so let's look at another emoji op option set. So here we've got one. If I go ahead and click on this, this is a current rating. So I might be on the phone with a contact and say, how are you feeling right now? How's the ser level of service? Can you rate us and say, are you happy? neutral or unhappy, whatever it might be. You could also capture that information by doing surveys, that kind of thing. So one thing that we can do, you can see here, OK, well, that's just a drop down. Yeah, OK, yes, I could click on that and I could save it. That's fine. However, what I can do is if I go into the solution again and we'll go to the forms and find the one for this, which is my emoji form. There we go. So if I open up that, and with this, with an option set, if there are two or three on the option set, what we can do is we can go into the properties of that field on the form and we can select controls. We can add a control and we can use option set. And this tells you it can be used for any option set with two or three options. So if you've got something that's more than three, it's not going to work. It's only going to show um, up to three of those options. So I'm going to go ahead and click add there aren't any um, properties to change or values to set, but I do need to click to say use this for web or phone or tablet if that's what you want. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to go ahead and publish it. Now one thing to keep in mind, notice that I've got that in a section that goes all the way across the form. If you put that in something that's shorter, then you're only going to see one of the emojis. So I'll show you, show you what I mean. So if I go back here, refresh this, and what we're going to see is those three options, which is great because now as the user, I can say, no, then they're, they're neutral at the minute or they're unhappy and then save it. And it's immediately obvious because it's got a green background. If I had put that onto a, a um, uh, a column that was uh, much smaller, then I would only see uh, either one or two and the other one wouldn't display as, a, as an actual value, so you wouldn't see the emoji. So again, that's just another way to use those uh, option sets, but be able to see all of those emojis along in a row. So again, if it's two or three, great, you can use that and you can just set the uh, custom control and be able to visually show something uh, that's very, very easy for the user to review and also select from.
Another area we can use an emoji option set is on tasks. So we could use something to show whether something's uh, due, uh, overdue, um, or it's in the future. So we can kind of use a bit of an indicator to see whether something is, is fine. So we're still on track because it's not due yet. Um, we can use something to say, okay, well, that's actually due today or we can see if something's actually overdue. So if I create a, um, a, a task, so I can say follow up. And then based on the fact that I'm using the due date, so I can say, all right, this is going to be due next week on the 5th, um, no specific time, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now what I'm doing is I'm basically using the, this is only just for demonstration purposes so you can see it, it wouldn't, isn't necessarily something you'd leave on the form, but I can use a calculated field, a whole number to say, um, what's the difference between today or now and the due date and we can see okay well there's actually six days until then so it's fine so then we're using an option set for due indicator either the blue circle the light bulb or the uh, alarm clock and then that will display and say okay it's fine so if I see the blue it's fine I don't need to worry about it so if I go back to my activities um, and if I'm gonna go ahead and I'll open the first one what I can then do is I can see, I can go through them and then that allows me to get that visual along the side to where I'm looking through my tasks. I can see immediately which ones have got that alarm clock so I know that those are the ones that are overdue and I can see the indicator. So I can add my, obviously I can add my field to one of my views so therefore in the grid when I'm looking at something again it's something that will immediately stand out to the user so that they can zone in on those just by getting that quick visual which so many people are more drawn to the the picture or the the image that will show them something rather than potentially might miss something if they if they're reading it so just a great way to add that extra little visual into your Dynamics 365 environment. Um, also, one thing to, to consider, you can use this in older versions, um, not just D365, but um, it may be that those will Im images or those emojis will show up in black and white. Also, some older browsers as well. So just keep that in mind. If you see it in black and white, then that could potentially be the reason why. So. Let me know in the comments if you have used this before, what you've used, um, and uh, be great to hear from you.